beautiful mutants Hello, good evening, glad you could come The time is dead, no longer here Would you like to recite your letter and all that? Do you feel tired? Hello YouTube, Zach the Fienak and I here and uh, a little too little too late, it's recently come to my attention that Ollie Wisdom has died. So for those who are unaware, um, him and his band, The Specimen, sort of... How, how, how else do I say this? Uh, they basically created the first ever goth club. Uh, it was known as the Bat Cave, which, yeah, I painted that by hand, by the way. A few years ago. A little side note. Anyway, yeah. Um, apparently, yeah, it um, it actually happened one year and like two, three days ago. And I just had no freaking clue at all. I don't know how or why, but somehow this knowledge escaped me. And, well, I mean, I've got an assumption or two. I was dealing with my own problems at the time. I was homeless and sick, but yeah, no, um, back in 83, these guys created the first ever goth club. They used to play there all the time. It was pretty short-lived. Apparently, it was only there for like two years. And from what I can gather, from one of my f what hearsay I've heard, it's uh, just a fancy restaurant now with no real acknowledgement or respect towards what it used to be. Basically, um, yeah, I just, I think another reason I didn't know is because, uh, for some reason or another, not a whole lot of other people have acknowledged it. Like, literally, just a few days ago, maybe half a week ago, I saw a post on, uh, Instagram. I was just like, oh, hey, it's Ollie Wisdom. Why are they saying rest in peace? What the fuck happened? So sure enough, I go to the comments and it's like, oh god, I can't believe it's been one year. I'm just like, what, since when? Which sounds ridiculous and redundant, but yeah, no, it's, uh, yeah, that happened. Because back when Bowie died, a lot of people were making, a lot of people, particularly in the online goth community, uh, were really making a big fuss over it, understandably so. I mean, as far as I know, he was very influential. I never really grew up listening to him, particularly. And even as soon as I started to explore more goth bands out there, and just more alternative bands in general, he was never a particular favorite of mine. Um... I think Bauhaus, this may be heresy, but I think Bauhaus did Ziggy Stardust better than he did. That is what it is. But, uh, yeah, I, uh, this is literally the first I've heard of Ollie's passing, and it fucking blows hot shit through a straw, but, uh, nobody else seems to really give a shit. As far as I know, I'm possibly, quite possibly the only goth addressing this, which, considering how much... Ollie has done for the subculture, however inadvertently it is. He didn't seem like he was doing much, if any, goth music towards the end of his career, though. He totally looked, sounded different uh, from what I can gather. He um, he was 63, and even now the details of his death are nebulous at best. Nobody really friggin' knows what happened, but um, yeah, it's, uh, it's fucking tragic. Even after a year later, maybe you found something. I sure as hell couldn't, but yeah, the details are, um, there's, there's good as not there. But if you had better luck, by all means, let me know down below. Let me know if I'm not the only one first catching wind of this. Uh, but yeah, I, um, I gotta say, now that I know, I'll definitely miss him. Rest in peace, you fucking legend. If you like, please like. Feel free to share obscure little thoughts in the comments below as well as to share the video itself. Subscribe if you wish to see more. Don't forget to hit the bell if you do. And as always, thank you so very much for watching. And I love you all.